Okay, so in this video we will do another five great things video and this time it will be five great things with co-reader installed on ebook readers. And we start with number five. And number five is that co-reader makes it possible to have progress sync. Uh, your reading progress can be synced between two different devices running co-reader. It can be a smartphone, uh, an Android phone installed with co-reader software, for example, and you can sync the reading progress with a Kobo e-reader that has installed co-reader software. As an example, here I have two different Kobo devices that you can sync side-loaded books. Uh, the reading progress between these. The, the drawback with this progress sync is that you can't sync uh, highlights, notes or bookmarks. It only syncs your reading progress. But it's really good to have and it's very easy to do. I will not do a tutorial in this video, but up here we have a menu called uh, progress sync, as you see there. So if we click on progress sync, we can see some different uh, settings you can do. For example, uh, document matching method. You can method, uh, we, you can have either binary or file name. I always use binary because I use the exact same EPUB file on all my devices that I want to sync to. So if you have exact same EPUB file installed, side loaded, then you can sync reading progress by using that. You can use file name, but that is not so um, safe, if you know what I mean. It can be another file that you sync to, so that is not so good, maybe. And you have uh, other settings. And as you see here, you can have automatically keep document in sync, but that means that you need to have Wi-Fi on all the time and that drains your battery. So I do this manually. So every time I want to sync, I use uh, push progress from this device, for example, then I uh, push the reading progress from this device, and then I can do a pull reading progress from this device instead. So I can do this syncing between all the devices that has uh, co-reader installed, and that is my number five in this list. Number four in my list is statics, reading statics. Uh, with co-reader you get a lot of really cool statistics. So we have uh, reading books and you, the more you read books, the more statics you get, statistics you get, I mean. So for example, up here, if I do, I have done a, a gesture, you can program different gestures in co-reader. So I have a gesture to see my reading statics. So for example, statistics, I said wrong all the time, statistics, my reading statistics, I can long press in this corner and I get my reading statistics on this device and this book I have open. So I have read two hours and 11 minutes today in this book, 313 pages, for example. And you can see uh, when you started reading the book and you can see when you will finish the book uh, approximately. And uh, you can see how many pages you have read and, all, and also average time per page. That is statistics over how fast you read. That's really good to know. And you also have other reading statistics. If we go to uh, sorry, here we have the right menu reading statistics. So if you go into that menu, now we can see some uh, reading statistics. We have already shown current book we can see reading progress then you have how much you have read every day on this device this statistics doesn't sync between the, the devices so here we have on this device i have read the whole weekend here as you see and in the uh, uh, weekdays 
I read on this device. So the statistics are on this device on weekday, uh, weekends, I mean. And you can see how many pages you have read last week, for example. So statistics are really good. You also have a time range. You can see uh, if you want to see last week, last month, or all the statistics and so on, all books. You have a lot of statistics and that's awesome. Uh, you can also have calendar view and you can see in a calendar how much you have read and which books you have read. Really awesome to see this calendar. So uh, you also have uh, today's timeline. You can see when I was reading, uh, which hour and which book I've read today. Also really, really cool. So statistics is my number four in the list. Number three in the list then is that uh, you have a customizable status bar with a lot of information options. As you see uh, down here, you have a status bar. And in this status bar, I can add different information. I choose what I want to have here from a really long list of different options. So this is what I have chosen to want to see. From uh, right here we have uh, the time at the moment. We have the battery life of the device itself. We have how much warm light at the moment, uh, 0%. And that is also one feature that should be on the list actually. You can uh, program uh, during how the sun is outside, if it's sunrise, sundown, and all the phases between sunlight and sunrise, you can program how much uh, warm light you will have during which hour. That is awesome too. But that, that is another video. Uh, and also we have how much um, front light at the moment. I have 66% for this video at the moment, as you see. And we also have how much time left of the chapter. We have 10 minutes left of the chapter. And we have how many pages left in the chapter. 20, as you see. And you also have how much is left of the book. Hours and minutes. And you have how much percent you have read of the book. And over that you have a progress bar with chapters. So every uh, line here is when a new chapter begins. That is also really cool to have. Uh, as you see here, really nice statistics and status uh, information. I love this status bar. Really love this status bar. It's so great to have. So that is number three in co-reader and now we came to the second place of my list of the five great things with co-reader and that is wireless transfers and caliber connections yes that's right you can do all that with co-reader on any ebook reader you have with co-reader installed so uh, if i want to transfer wirelessly we have a menu for that too uh, we have a caliber menu there. Uh, so now I can connect wirelessly to my caliber library with books on my Mac computer. And I can sit in the sofa or my bed or whatever and do a connection to my caliber library in my home on my Mac. So that is awesome. And then I can transfer books wirelessly to this ebook reader and I can do the same on this ebook reader if I want. So I can transfer wirelessly directly from Caliber. That is awesome. But that means that I need to sit at the computer and send the books wirelessly to my ebook reader. So that is one option. But we also have another option and that is um, the uh, we need to go out from the book to see that option uh, so we go up in the top here and now we have in this menu opds catalog that is awesome 
I will tell you why. And if I click on that, I can add different OPDS catalogs. Uh, you have free books in a lot of these, Project Gothenburg, that you can see and download, for example. And you can also add your own Calibre library. So this is awesome. So if I just want to connect to my Calibre library, I can just click here and get to my library on my Mac computer and then download books directly from the Calibre library to this device. And I can do that from anywhere in my home because I don't have an external connection. I have set this up to be safe in my home on my local network. So I need to be on my local network so I can be on the toilet or in the bedroom or in the sofa, for example, and then scroll through my library, my Calibre library on this device and then download the book I want to install sideload on this ebook reader. And then I can read it with pleasure. I can even uh, choose where I want to download it. If I have a folder structure, for example, for thrillers, horror, crime or whatever, I can choose to download that book into that folder immediately. So this is awesome, actually. So that is my second place, second in my list, the wireless transfers and caliber connections to everything on co-reader. Now we have one left and that is the first place, number one in my list of five great things with co-reader. And that is the fantastic customization options. I mean, you can do whatever you want with co-reader. Uh, for example, as you see here, I nearly don't have any margins, as you see, uh, almost no margins whatsoever. And you can turn that off on all books. So if uh, a book you have for some reason has uh, uh, preferred margins uh, by default that you can't turn off uh, usually from uh, the standard Kobo e-reader settings, then you get what uh, the... Um, the author or the publisher want you to have as a margin and on a smaller device like uh, the uh, Kobo Clara 2e like this one then you get some uh, margins here you get even um, less text on the display and I don't like that but with co-reader you can turn that off and have as small margins as you want actually I have uh, a few pixels here because I get some shadows from um, the sunken display. Uh, sometimes in uh, direct sunlight, for example, I get a sunken display here, get an, a shadow. So I want to have a bit, a few pixels of margins to get rid of the shadow annoy annoying. So uh, that is what just one thing you can do. You can choose which font you want to read with. You can do as large font you want and you can do how uh, you can do whatever you want with the text, for example. And that's awesome. And you can uh, install uh, dictionaries. You can uh, whatever you want with co-reader. <laughs> I mean, there is almost nothing you can do with co-reader. You can do exactly as you want to have it. You can customize everything, really. Really, everything you can customize. As a, For example, here you can see here I have a style tweak, style, fonts, typography rules, page overlap, speed reading module, highlight style, document settings. So style tweaks, for example, I have pages and modules. I can do whatever I want. Text, paragraphs, tables, links, images, miscellaneous, in-page footnotes. Everything I can customize here. So this is just awesome to do. And that is what you can do with CoReader and no other ebook reader software. That is why I highly recommend installing CoReader on your Kobo device because CoReader fits perfectly fine with Kobo e-readers. But if you have a pocketbook, you can probably install CoReader there too or a Onyx Books, for example, you can install 
co-reader on that too. So, and by the way, you can sync between all of them. So that is awesome if you have more than one ebook reader. So if you have two, you can easily sync the reading progress between them. And in my uh, latest video before this, uh, I also show you how you can uh, uh, back up your co-reader settings. So if you are happy with the settings on one of your e-readers, you can back up those and save them for later use. But you can also then copy over them, the settings from this to another ebook reader and have the exact same settings in the co-reader so you don't uh, need to do all over again with a new Kobo e-reader for example so you can have the exact same co-reader settings by just doing a backup of the settings from one and copy them to a new one so that is uh, what I think is the best with uh, co-reader the five great things I think it's worth having co-reader for so that's it for this video so please like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel i need more subscribers so do so please okay bye